A very good morning and assalamualaikum my dear children. I am back again with another exciting and new video class of Bangladesh and Global Studies. Yes my dear students, today it's time to learn an interesting chapter. Okay, yes it is chapter 12. Okay, before that I'm going to tell you about me. In the meantime, you get to know about me, right? All of you know, this is your Malia Salsa Ben Mix from Master Bibliotheric KG School, Sector 14 Branch. Dear students, yes, in your previous cl class, you learned about Chapter 12, right? Mm -hmm. And now, today, we will be discussing about two more new topics, that is, about cyclone and about fire. So without any further talking, let's move to our today's class. So my dear students, as you know that we are going to learn chapter 12, that is disaster management. So in your previous class, what we have learned, that thing we will discuss a little bit today, okay? In our previous class, what we learn? Yes, we learn about disaster. What is disaster? Very good. A sudden accident or a natural distraction that causes great damage or loss of life is known as disaster. Then we have learned about disaster management. The plans and measures to prevent the impact of the disaster is known as disaster management. How many types of disaster are there? Excellent. There are two types of disaster. What are they? They are natural disaster and man-made disaster. Natural disasters are like flood, cyclones, earthquake, drought, etc. These are actually the disasters on which we human beings have no hand. It's all in the hand of Almighty. If Almighty wants at that time, natural disaster will occur. It's a natural process. Again, what is man-made disaster? That is fire, deforestation, etc. These type of man-made disaster actually occurs due to unconsciousness of the people. Fire actually happens due to unconsciousness of human being. Again, deforestation occurs if you know, whenever we are building large high-rise buildings, factories at that time, what we need? We need to cut down trees. So, these all the disaster are very much what harmful for us. So, we also learned about flood in our previous class. What is that? Yes, a flood is an overflow of water that submerges land that is usually dry. There are some causes of flood. Yes, what are they? Hmm? Due to geographical location, due to heavy rainfall, again due to sediment fills the bottom of the river, and due to some natural causes also flood occur so bangladesh has experienced seven bad floods since 1987 they are more likely to happen mainly between the month of asher to ashen floods can lead to loss of life loss of crop homelessness many things what preparation should we take for floods these things also we learned in our previous class right Yes, if we can't, uh, as we can't control the flood, so what we can do, we can take precautions. As we all know that we don't have our hand on controlling the natural disaster. So we should follow weather forecast on television, radio, put a stick in the bed of a stream to see if the water level is rising or not. We should store some dry food, medicine, and clean drinking water. And we should pack our books and necessary stuff in the plastic bag to keep them dry. And most importantly, we should be brave and patient and always keep ourselves safe. Today, we are going to learn about cyclone. It is another type of natural disaster. Cyclone is a powerful spiny storm that contains strong winds and rain. You know that Bangladesh has experienced three bad cyclones that is in 1970, 1991 and in 2007. 
they usually happen in the rainy season coastal area suffers the most and there are many causes of cyclones one of them is low air pressure over the sea again there are some man made causes too these are like cutting down of trees randomly to remove the wind breaks etc so we all should be very much careful so that we can what prevent this type of cyclone and for this reason we should take some preparation for cyclone we should there is a system you know that of cyclone alert signal that is ranging from 1 to 10 in severity if the cyclone is uh, it's getting severe at that time cyclone alert signal is said as 1 2 or 3 if it is less in severity at that time it is said as 6 or 7 or 9 like this so we should keep our eyes on television radio so that we can get the cyclone alerts properly and by hearing the cyclone alerts we will guess the severity of cyclone we should listen to signals regularly inform other and prepare ourselves accordingly we should always be prepared so we should keep our books and other useful things arranged before moving to shelter or to any other safe place we should work together with our parents we should not get panic we should listen to our elders and stay in safe place we should always remember that precaution is get better than getting panicked so dear students just after the book discussion of page number 62 now from page number 63 we are going to do the book work so open your book see in A, what is there? There is pig. And there it is written that discuss with the whole class what have you heard about the cyclones? Yes, that is the first question. So, uh, what we have learned in this chapter? Yes, what cyclone do? It actually destroy our cropland. Again, it sweeps away our dwelling places and livestock. Again, it causes loss of our trees by uprooting them. And again, lines of electricity and telephones are damaged. And many, 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 many disadvantages are there of cyclone. Yes. And the second question is given over here. Who have experienced cyclone in Bangladesh? Yes. Can you tell? Yes. So we can write like this that uh, all we have experienced as cyclone lastly we can write the incident of 2009 at that time suddenly trees and houses were blown away by the extreme wind and many people died in that cyclone. So we took shelter to the cyclone center before the cyclone st uh, stuck my area. So like this, if any creative writing is coming, you can write, okay? Then you can uh, answer the question that is given in the book work, that is, what is the cyclone warning system? Do you know? Yes, there is a system of cyclone alert signal that is ranging from one to 10 in severity, okay? So the uh, fourth question in the book work it is given how could the effect of cyclones be made uh, less serious? So at that time, do you have any idea? Yes, the ways of reducing cyclone harming effects you can write like this. We should listen to signals regularly, inform others and prepare ourselves accordingly. Okay, and also what we can do, we should arrange our books and other use, useful things before moving to the shelter or to any other safe place. Again, we can tell like this that we should work together with our parents. We should listen to our elders and stay in a safe place. Okay, dear. Then in BC, what it is given that look at the map, write a list of the areas that are cyclone prone areas. So by seeing the map, can you identify the areas which are actually cyclone prone? Yes. So the areas that are most in danger from cyclones, these are uh, given in the list C. Borishal division here, there is Borishal, Bhola, Firozpur, Jalukati, 
বরগোনা পটুয়াখালী এন খুলনা ডিভিশন খুলনা বাগেরহাট এন্ড সাতক্ষীরা এন জি টাউন ডিভিশন রেস কক্সবাজার নোয়াখালী ফেনী চিটাগ লক্ষ্মীপুর দিস আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি মোস্টলি এফেক্টেড সাইক্লোন এরিয়াস ইন সি দিয়ার ইজ এক্সটেন্ড হোয়াট ইজ রিটার্ন অফ আর হেয়ার মেক আ পোস্টার টু ওয়ার্ন ইয়ার কমিউনিটি অফ দ্য ডেঞ্জারস ফ্রম সাইক্লোনস এলাস রেড ইট উইথ ড্রয়িং ওর ফটোস লাইক ইউ নো সামটাইমস দিয়ার আর সাম পিকচারস দ্যাট পিকচারস গিভ আস সাম ইম্পর্টেন্ট অ্যান্ড এডুকেটিভ মেসেজ সো ক্যান ইউ ড্র দ্যাট টাইপ অফ পোস্টার ইমেজেস অ্যান্ড দ্যাট উইল অ্যাকচুয়ালি ওয়ার ওর দ্যাট উইল অ্যাকচুয়ালি হেল্প ইউর লোকালিটি পিপল টু গেট সাইক্লোন অ্যালার্ট ওর দে উইল বি অ্যাওয়ার অফ দিস টাইপ অফ ন্যাচারাল ডিজাস্টার্স ইয়াস ইউ উইল মেক দিস টাইপ অফ পোস্টার্স অ্যান্ড অবভিয়াসলি ইউ আর এনকারেজ টু ইনফর্ম ইউর সাবজেক্ট টিচার অ্যাবাউট দিস ম্যাটার ইন দ্য ক্লাস অ্যান্ড ইফ উই দ্য টিচার্স আর শোয়িং দ্যাট পিকচার্স ইন ইউর জুম ক্লাস what it will be that will be a great fun right okay then see in d what is there complete the sentence the warning for cyclone is fill in the blank what it will be yes you have learned it in your book is ranging from 1 to 10 according to its severity so now let's go for the reading practice of page number 64 there we will be learning about fire so by seeing the picture you guess that now we are going to learn about fire yes my dear kids at first we will be learning about the effects of fire you know bangladesh is experiencing a high risk of fires this day they usually happen in the dry season in slum crowded places in particularly garments factories fires cause building to collapse so people lose their livelihoods in rural areas crops are destroyed and farmers suffer a lot you know that why bangladesh is experiencing high risk of fire nowadays because nowadays a average temperature is rising in bangladesh as the average temperature is rising so what happened our climate is always hot and humid due to this hot and humid climate or temperature condition there is a risk of fire so what we should do we should always be very much careful okay so here there are some important lines as you can see usually in which uh, a season fire occurs the answer will be in dry season underline this one again uh you can see that in slum crowded places and particularly in garments factories fire generally what effects so this one is also another important question again if question is coming like this that in rural areas what effects is fire bringing so at that time you can write in rural areas crops are destroyed and farmers are suffering a lot due to fire so as we have learned about the effects of fire now it's time to know about what causes fire the causes of fire are of many man made reason and now we will be knowing about some example if the stove is not fully turned off sometimes after cooking we forget to turn off the stove and it's very much risk you know so we should be very careful after cooking the stove should be turned off from the flame of discarded cigarettes beer hookah you know some bad people are always what they are doing smoking they are taking cigarettes beer or hookah and what they are doing after taking this type of things they are not turning it off rather they are throwing it again if a lamp hurricane or mosquito call left alight that means 
Uh, you know that in the village areas, people they use hurricane. Yes. Again, in the towns, we use sometimes what? We use mosquito coils, right? And lamp. So that things after using, we should turn it off. Otherwise, there is a risk of fire. So these things should not be left alight. Um, so that there will be more possibility of accident. Okay. Now we will be learning about another cause that is if the electricity line has a problem. This is a common problem nowadays. Sometimes the electricity lines are having problems so we should check it out. Again from flammable materials uh, in the factory that is you know that in the factories there are some flammable chemicals flammable things so that things are actually very risky so sometimes those flammable things you know due to the hot temperature it get reacted and brushed out and fire occur this type of incidents we are hearing nowadays in our country isn't it yes yeah, so we should be very careful we should keep this type of flammable things away okay and you are little kids you know that children should not play with fire or explode fireworks so you should be always keep yourself away from fire or fireworks again if sometimes fire spread in one house from that house fire is spreading in the neighboring houses so now dear students i will be showing you a video in that video we will be seeing some most common fire causes okay and you should be very much careful this is an educative video and this video will help you to learn many many things okay baba so see the video attentively so see this one yes so can you guess what it is yes your guessing is absolutely correct yes so some top most common causes of house fires as you can see in this picture what happened yes very good guessing absolutely correct see if you are getting what so many connections that is overrode connection and damage where octopus connection these type of connections are causing fire again see here yes can you guess what is this this is also due to the over uh, flow of electricity candles look and smell pretty but if left unattended they can cause a room to easily brust okay again see here what happened from the candle a uh, curtain is burning yes this is absolutely due to our unconsciousness again if there is defective regulator in the lpg tank at that time what happened from this type of thing fire can occur and here see what is he showing this man is showing that if there is fire what precautions we should take again see in the picture from the kitchen stove also if we are keeping towels or napkins in the uh, kitchen again we are keeping what we are keeping the stove on at that time this type of fire may occur from the electric equipment also the uh, fire can occur that is overheating electrical appliances whenever sometimes we are dressed uh, we are ironing our clothes and straightening our hair and after that we are keeping what unplugging the electric equipment at that time also fire occurs most importantly children should never play with fire keep all the matches lighter and candle out of the reach of small children if you have some small uh, brother or sister you should keep those things away okay and most importantly the message is don't play with fire okay it's risky yes
now we will be learning about the dealings with fire so you know that if there is fire uh, sometimes accidentally and we are not actually aware of it so at that time in emergency we should take some steps at first we should save yourself okay again after that we should raise the alarm and inform the fire service you know that now in the modernized building all of we have safety alarm at that time of fire what happens we can give that alarm we can rung that alarm at that time what will happen everyone will be aware that there is a fire incident and they can move to a safe place at number 3 warn the authorities if anyone is still in the building so if anyone is still in the building inside in the fireplace we should warn the authorities and tell them to move that person in the safe place again we should remove flammable objects from the areas that means you know that where fire occurs especially in the factories there is a possibility of having what having flammable objects so we should move those flammable things in a safe place in somewhere else okay if flammable objects are still over there at that time fire can take a severe form we should never go back to a fire to save property that means you have much money in your house much gold in your house we should not go back there in the fire rather what should we do we should stay out of that place and stay in a safe place if your skin is burned you should put your skin uh, under cold water for at least 10 minutes and afterwards you should move to a doctor obviously okay because after that if in that condition if you are keeping your burned skin at that time after a few days or few, uh, after some days you may face some problem okay so again here the same thing no risks of own life can be taken to protect any asset that means any type of asset you have in your house but there is fire don't ever dare to run there because we all know that our life is more precious than those assets right so we should take care of ourselves first our life first okay so dear students now move to page number 65 there is again a book work now we are going to do the book work of page number 65 so see here in a what is there discuss with the whole class what have you heard about serious fire can you tell and who has experienced a local fire how did it start and how do you prevent fire what should you do if you find a fire so can you give this all answers by yourself yes baba if you ever heard about any serious fire incident in your local area what we should do at first we should make a phone call to the fire service right and also in the meantime when fire service is coming at that time we should take precautions measure like uh, all the peoples of that place if there is any child or women or any aged senior citizen of the country we should move them to the safe place after that what we should do we should what uh, give that in that place sufficient water so that before coming of the fire service the fire do not extend it or extend more right okay so in this way we can prevent fire now in b c in your book there is a box so here you have to write about what do you remember about all the disaster in this chapter and write one thing in each of the boxes so can we do it yes now i will be showing you a sample box and from there you can find the answer 
So, see, here is a separate box for floods, separate box for cyclones, separate box for fire. So, the first one is causes. That means you have to write one causes of floods, one causes of cyclones, and another causes of fire. So, do you remember one cause of floods? Yes, write it. Very good. You can write heavy rainfall. Again, for cyclones, what we have learned. What is the causes of cyclone? Very good. Low air pressure over the sea. Then, for fire, what is the causes? If the stove is not fully turned off, then you have to write effects. So, we have learned lots of effects for flood cyclones and fire. Tail 1, effects of flood, loss of livelihood. Again, for cyclone, tail 1 effects, very good. The strong winds and rain damage houses and crops. Tail 1 causes of fire, very good. Fires cause building to collapse. Now, you will write how to deal with it. You have learned it? Hmm. In today's lesson, you learned about cyclones and fire. In previous lesson, you learned about flood. Yes, we should store some dry food, medicine and clean drinking water. And for cyclones, we should listen to signals regularly. Signals are from 1 to 10. Excellent. Thanks for remembering. Then, for fire, what should we do? We should save yourself first so dear baba what you have to do is all of you write this thing in your book with a pencil okay book work should be written in your book with a pencil okay now everyone in a uh, see what is there in extent yes arrange a class meeting to discuss the precaution against fire make a poster to warn your community of the dangers from one particular disaster illustrate it with your drawing or photos so from the previous topic i say you what poster is and what should you do in a poster so like that way you should make a poster by yourself and you can make a big one that will warn your locality people okay and that thing all you can share with your class teacher in zoom class in d what is there there is check yes baba there is matching so we have to match the conditions in the left column with the result in the right column at first the sentence is carelessness in a dry climate it match with which one? Yes, carelessness in a dry climate. It is matching with the word fire. Again, low pressure over the sea. This one is matching with which one? Very good answer. It is matching with cyclones. Again, heavy rainfall that does not drain away. What did happen? Yes, it causes water logging. My dear Baba, your performance during the whole class was excellent. So, I want to clap for you all. Bravo! So, like this way, you will be attentive in all the classes and answer all the question answers, okay? So, for today, our class is not over actually because we are going to take the feedback of today's class, okay? So, now, I'm going to ask you some short question answers. Okay, the first question I will be asking as feedback is in which season fire usually happen and which places are most suffer for fire. So can you tell? Very good, excellent. Fire usually happen in the dry season. And which places are most suffer for fire? Very good. The slums, crowded places, and particularly the garments factories are most suffer for fire. Now, the next question write two effects of fire. Can you tell? 
yes it uh, causes building to collapse very good another yes in rural areas crops are destroyed excellent the third question for you children write three causes for fire you can write any three causes you tell very good if the stove is not fully turned off then very good if a lamp hurricane or mosquito calls or left a light excellent another thing we have learned can you remember yes fire spreading from one house to another excellent performance okay the next question what are called flammable materials give two examples yes very good flammable materials are those materials which can burn easily and two examples yes uh, some chemicals again what you can tell chemical uh, chemicals from the factories and uh, colors yes these things actually are very much flammable and these things are actually we get in the factories then the next question is write three ways of dealing with fire we have learned many points tell any three baba very good we should never go back to a fire to save property again we should save ourselves first informing fire service so dear students it's time to take your homework as your homework you will be doing the reading practice of page number 62 and 64 and obviously you won't forget to practice the book work of page number 63 and 65 hopefully all of you will be fine and we will be waiting for our next class to meet again okay until then goodbye students